Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over the steps that are required to uh, delete a floor. So, for uh, in this particular scene, I have an elevator system with 10 floors. And let's say I want to remove two floors. Now, the first thing I need to go and do is uh, remove the two midsection pieces. So let's say I want to remove these two guys right here. So just click on them and just click delete. And then I need to remove the actual concrete pieces as well. So these two. And then click delete. And then I need to reposition the top of the frame. And now I'm just going to click on that. It's called top frame. Click on that and just drag it down so it just lines up with the, uh, the the remaining eight floors that I've left over and then I need to reposition the the top of the wires so uh, to do that I need to click on the bone that represents the cables top so it's called cable end top uh, click on that and then just reposition it drag it down so it sits properly inside of the elevator system so right about there looks good and then next step I need to do is I need to remove the floor signs that were uh, left over from from before so that one number 10 and there's a number 9 right there sitting right there okay so that's taken care of uh, Next thing I need to do is go inside of the elevator, uh, find the elevator in here, and just remove the two remaining, or the the last two buttons that I removed for the representing the floors that I deleted. So they are right here. We call floor buttons nine and ten. Just click on those and press delete. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know when you're doing this, you're gonna it's gonna complain that you. Well, because I already saved them as a prefab, so yeah, just go ahead and continue. So in, essentially, we're we're creating a new prefab, if if that's what you want to do, uh, you can save it as a new prefab. But um, but yeah, so don't worry about the the message where it says you're breaking the prefab. Um, so the next thing you need to do is just, all oh right, uh, you need to edit the elevator prefab so it it so it points to, so it doesn't have ten floors. It, I'm just going to rename this just for uh, for no apparent reason. Uh, okay, so now you so the elevator prefab is called elevator box. Uh, well, ten floors. Let's just rename it to eight floors. And now, if you go to the inspector, you notice there's a bunch of uh, attributes that we need to adjust because we removed two floors. Now, uh, I'm just going to close this all. Just start from the beginning. Okay, uh, there's several attributes you should just uh, don't worry about you know you you never want to uh, you never want to edit them. Uh, so one of them is this uh, fact LED display floors. That's don't worry about that one. You know that's that's just the material representing the uh, the floor that we're on. <coughs> you never want to you never really want to edit that. So um, yeah, ignore current floor, ignore target floors as well. That's that's something that's uh, controlled in the code. Uh, the one that you want to edit is the floor heights. Uh, now these represent the the heights at which the elevator will stop at, and uh, and since we only have ten floors now, we're just gonna uh, we only have eight floors now. We're just gonna remove the last two and just set it to eight. And then the call buttons uh, these represent the buttons that are uh, outside of the the, the elevator frame. So uh, we only have eight ten eight now. So just set it to eight. And then inside of here the floor buttons uh, since we just deleted uh, the last two we just set it to eight and uh, that, that should be it ceiling tiles we don't need to touch that we don't need to touch that we don't need to touch that uh, elevator please no uh, oh yeah actually one more thing we need to edit is the position at which the counterweight will, will stay at so in an elevator there's something called a counterweight that that kind of moves up and down so uh, so to set the position of it what I have to do is I set the so you click on that 
bone it's inside of here uh, it's caught here it's it's located right here so it's called weights and basically uh, the way it works for this elevator system is you basically specify the minimum position I mean the lowest position and the highest position in the system so to specify the lowest position just uh, uh, click on the bone and then just set it so it's at the lowest position in the elevator and then take note of the y uh, the y position uh, sorry the y value <clears throat> now you want to copy that uh, uh, so select that and press control C and go into the elevator box prefabs and then just set that under uh, weight min height so you just and then control V to paste that value over there so that will just tell it tell the elevator system where the weight uh, the counterweight should be at its lowest height now now you need to do it for the the top height the maximum height so now we need to uh, click on the the weight object again the weight uh, the weight bone object and then just drag it all the way up to where it should be at its top height so let's just go let's go all the way up and just drag it all the way up here Oops. zoom in and then just set it to where it should be at the top height and uh, that looks about right and then just uh, copy the Y value for the position again uh, control C to copy and then go back into the elevator box prefab and then punch it back into the weight max height boom and that should be it now you should have a working elevator system with eight floors now to test it we just go ahead and uh, click on our player <coughs> guy and then let's just move him down to the first floor oops sorry uh, let's just move him down over here All right. press play and then call the elevator left click to call that so now it's moving down now let's go up to wait oops sorry go all the way to 8 2 all right so there we go it's uh, now it goes up to 8 and then let's just test it going back down to uh, let's go down to one and two and three. Now, if you go to the scene, you'll notice that it, the counterweights actually animate in accordance to where the elevator shaft is. So, so you'll see it. You'll notice it should be moving. Yeah, there we go. So. So it animates just like it does in real life. The the pulley also spins as well, so that's that's kind of neat. Also, the the wheels on here they animate as well. So so uh, okay, so that that's how you remove a floor from a uh, ten system elevator shaft.